Man, this opening scene for the Haro is probably the best out of all the bosses. What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Remnant from the Ashes video. This video admittingly is going to be a lot shorter than any other video I've published on the channel mainly because this place, the bunker as you can see in the top left corner, did not have a prerequisite dungeon to it and the bunker is exactly where the boss fight takes place which in this situation is the Haro. Probably one of the more interesting bosses uh, bosses in this, you know, in this game as a whole. This Boss also has an alternative kill as well, uh, which if you do it, you get a special weapon. But I'll explain that to you once I've completed in taking him out. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump into it and take out this boss. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and come on over here and take on the Haro. This guy can be difficult at times. Man, this opening scene for the Haro is probably the best out of all the bosses. Ah! Let's go! You're not going nowhere, buddy. Now without that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the health. Let's go ahead and put another one right here, right in the middle. I love those turrets, man. Let's go ahead and get some ammo. There he is. You can have that again. Let's go ahead and drop some more. I'll put them both in the middle this time. Whoa, that was close. So far, I don't think I've gotten hit. Is he here? Oh! That was close. Where's, where's he at? Is that him? There you go. He's gonna die right now. Goodbye. Right on. That was actually pretty cake. Oh, and I got a new emote. So if you show if you focus your fire on his uh on on his legs or whatever you're eventually going to stagger him and he's eventually going to fall on his knee. When you do that if you go around him and you press X on the Xbox controller or uh square on the PlayStation controller what you would do is you will remove a specific weapon from his back. In this situation, it's the one that I'm wearing right now. It's called the Lost Harpoon. It is personally one of my favorite only because it looks so awesome. And it also does radiation damage. But the special ability that this has, because it is a boss weapon after all, is that it increases damage on each uh, successive hit. Uh, by 10% for 15 seconds and it can actually be stacked five times. So it's a pretty decent weapon uh, But probably not the best. I just like it aesthetically also on top of that uh, If you manage to just defeat him normally like I just did without uh, removing the lost harpoon You get this item which I'll show on the screen right now called the thermal geode and essentially what that does is it allows you to craft the defiler which is pretty much a handheld uh shotgun that deals radiation damage which is a really cool 
you know, pistol. Personally, I don't use it. I really, really love the submachine gun for its very, very high DPS, which I think the submachine gun is the highest DPS uh, weapon in the game. Uh, but we'll get to that in some other video, probably. But... For now, we'll just focus on the Defiler. So the Defiler is actually a pretty decent weapon, and its special av ability is called a Radioactive Volley, which essentially what it does is that it fires a volley of six radioactive projectiles that bounce off of the environment that deal 49 damage of radiation each hit. So it's actually it's actually pretty decent. I've actually seen it being used by a lot of different players in the game. So it's a it is used... Uh, uh, quite a lot by people, but again, I personally prefer the submachine gun. But with that being said, you guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you like this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces. Deuces.